We are trying to protect you. Aura Orin. MTF Omega Zero. Look away. Item number SCP-1397. Object Class Keter. Special Containment Procedures. All SCP-1397-2 detection and liquidation interactions are to be maintained by MTF Ada-10 forces. Description: SCP-1397, unknown creature that poses a cognito hazard. Its observable appearance looks like an earthworm tail section, with specific segmentation of a pale pink color with the size of an adult's head. It also contains clotellum, specific for earthworms, and a single big, wide-open human eye with signs of glaucoma. SCP-1397 only appears from SCP-1397-2, and also causes the creation of the latter if observed by someone. This way, effect is interdependent and starts off from some unknown zero case. SCP-1397-2, any human that ever observed SCP-1397 by one of these ways. In any crowded place in which SCP-1397-2 and thereafter SCP-1397 can appear. On the internet, in any website or local digital data storage with SCP-1397-2 or SCP-1397 photos, even if image display function is disabled or impossible at all. Remarkable is the fact that photos of humans that observed SCP-1397 that way will appear on random websites or local storage, even if subject never made any photo. At the first time, it will be free of any defects, but when subject themselves will pass through all stages of metamorphosis see below, it will change according to this, on this picture, in random periods of time, SCP-1397 can appear, continuing cognitive infection. According to MTF-8 attempts data, effects don't spread on the images of SCP-1397-2 that already converted, because they're already separated from the original interdependent chain. We are trying to protect you. After subjects' observation of SCP-1397, they start to suffer from irreversible mental disorders. That happens in three stages. 1. The emergence of dysmorphophobic ideas about the inferiority of one's own face. 2. A period of intense nightmares that contents an act of long-term observation of one's own face from the side that ends with something frightening not having objectivity at the same time that makes you immediately wake up. 3. Visceral hallucinations, including objective depiction of a cavity inside one's head. Immediately after last stages end, big, black circle-like areas appear in the subject's head region, forcing a subject's face to bend around it, similar to gravitational lensing effect. See image. That circle looks two-dimensional from any perspective. Apparently, local space's metrics itself changes. From that area, SCP-1397 appears, and then, after a short period of time, disappears. It's unknown if SCP-1397 can appear in multiple SCP-1397-2 at the same time. After transformation, SCP-1397-2 loses any psychological depth or personality in its behavior, along with any biological needs. Subjects aimlessly roam in areas that are familiar for them. After a long time, all SCP-1397-2 instances strive to encounter each other and start interacting. They contact each other with black areas in their heads. After that, those areas start to merge and become bigger. Faces of SCP-1397-2 bend around newly formed space, creating single enclosed rings. Purposes and consequences of those interactions are currently unknown, because of MTF-8 attempt preventing them from happening, but they have a strong potential of a K-class scenario.